Well, hi there, it's Sandy Alnock with Progress in the 30 Days of Bible Lettering Challenge that I've been participating in. You can still join in anytime. There's no rules for this. Just write the verse out and share it with other people. You can even choose another verse if you want. That's how few rules there really are. And I'm starting on Monday. We went with uh, Love Your Enemies and Pray for Those Who Persecute You. And I used color and some really wonky casual lettering to emphasize the love and pray for this one. Do it all for the glory of God. I did a much cleaner type of lettering on Tuesday. And when I did it in color, I did some little blobs behind it of different colors and added a rainbow. For one of my favorite verses, I decided I wanted a cross behind the Christ died for us words in it. So since I'm using watercolor pencil, I did the cross first, so I put it down underneath of the text that I'm going to be adding to it and scribbled a little bit of color in here. Now this is watercolor pencil, so all I have to do is put the color down. I don't have to blend it very much. And then I just used a baby wipe to move the color around a little bit and just mush it. And that made it into a cross. And then I could add the text on. And I'm going to show you in a little bit how I've been doing the text so that you can kind of get a better idea if you want to try something like this because it's not all free-handed. Do, do not like think magical things of me and uh, I will show you how I did that on a different verse. But on this one I wanted to add a little bit more color and I waited till it was dry to do this so that I could still get some soft pencil. If you do watercolor pencil over wet watercolor pencil then it gets really thick and heavy. But this one has the cross now under the words, Christ died for us. Next up, I decided on this one to put a beautiful little piece of grass or a little piece of wheat over top of it since it's talking about sowing and reaping and added some color with that one. Next up, let the message of Christ dwell among you richly and emphasized the important words using a script font as well as some color. Another super important verse, whoever believes in him, emphasized by the script and the large word whoever. And then I crossed out the word condemned because we are not condemned. What good news is that? And on this last one, I'll show you how I transfer these words onto my drawing paper. But first, I decided I wanted a blob of color, just sort of something radiating out, because the location on the poster itself, I wanted just some yellow in there, because, you know, everything has to have yellow, because that's the way I am. So I threw the color on, spread it around with a baby wipe, and then waited for it to dry and used a light box with my sketch underneath of it. And so that's how I've been getting my lettering to match what was on my sketch. And sometimes I resketch things to straighten out letters or that sort of thing. But it was easy enough to do that. It's hard to film, but easy enough to add these things onto my giant piece of art. Look at that. I am actually making progress. This thing is getting close to filling in. Is that not exciting? All right. I will see you again next week with a little bit more progress and the finished work. And I'll see you then. Take care and have a great week.